أشرقت نفسي بنور من فؤادي حينما رددت يا رب العباد وانتشت روحي وصار الدمع يجري يا إلهي خذ بقلبي للرشاد إن عدة الشهور عند الله اسم عشر شهرا في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن أنفسكم وقاتلوا المشركين كافة كما يقاتلونكم كافة وَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الْمُتَّقِينَ إِنَّمَا النَّسِيءُ زِيَادَةٌ فِي الْكُفْرِ يُضِلُّ بِهِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا يُحِلُّونَهُ عَامًا وَيُحِرُّونَ وَيُحَرِّمُونَهُ عَامًا لِيُوَاطِئُوا إِنَّ ذَمَّ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ وَيُحِلُّ فَيُحِلُّ مَا حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ زينهم سوء أعمالهم والله يعد القوم الكافرين صدق الله مولانا العظيم ولغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن ولا ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين آل مائتي الله سيس in iddat ash-shuhur inda Allah is 12 shahran verily the number of the months as ordained by Allah is 12 months in the book of Allah in secret tablet or the holy quran or enjoyment of Allah yawm khalaq as-samawati wal arda since the day when Allah created the heavens and the earth minha arba'atun khurum there are four months very sacred forbidden one out of them zalika deen al-qayyim this is the straight religion wala thalimu fihinna anfusakum and don't do don't wrong yourself in these months وَقَاتِلُ الْمُشْرِكِينَ كَعَفَّةً and fight against the total infidels, pagans, pagans as they they fight you against you all together وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الْمُتَّقِينَ and bear in mind and note it well that Allah is always with the pious people إِنَّمَ النَّسِيءُ زِعَدَةٌ فِي الْقُفْرِ Verily the delayment, the delay, the postpone, the postponement of the month is an other incident in for the infidelity, for the disbelief. Yudhillu bihil ladhina kafaru wherewith the people disbelieving or rejecting the truth are misled. Yuhilluna يُحِلُّونَهُ عَمُمْ وَيُحَرِّبُونَهُ عَمَمْ and they legalize it in one year and illegalize it in the other year لِيُوَاثِئُوا إِدَّةَ مَا حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ so that they make up the number for the month of forbidden, forbidden month فَيُحِلُّوا مَا حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ and they legalize what Allah has illegalized. They try to validate whatever was invalidated by Allah. زُجِّرْ لَهُمْ سُوءُ عَمَالِهِمْ and the evilness of their practice, the evilness of their deed and works was adorned, beautified, decorated and Allah does not guide 
the people rejecting the faith. This is the verbal translation of the passage I recited before you. Here, the logical rationality and contextual, contextual, contextual study of this passage with the previous one requires certain interpretations. Since the people of the book used to twist, concoct and distort the verses of Allah and they were changing and altering the divine message just for their worldly purposes since they have a coordination and compatibility with the uh, with the pagans of Mecca therefore these two types of characters and their affairs were mentioned consolidatedly so that one can understand that when two persons are different in names and in a geographical locality they can be consolidated on account of uh, their coordination in their ideology and in their practice. Since concoction and distortion of the books by the Jews and Christian scholar was a fact, just like the alteration or post postponement of the months of Haram, the month, the sacred months was resembling to each other, coordinating to each other. I mean, this was a changing which was introduced by the pagans of Mecca. Their habit was just to postpone the month of Haram, the sacred months. Sacred months are four. One is Zikada, the other one Zil Hajjah, the third one Muharram, the fourth one Rajab. These three months are continuous and adjacent to each other, but one is detached from, from these ones, and that is Rajab. And at the time of retaliation, at the time of robbery, burglary, and fighting, and blood shedding, they used to postpone them according to the, their own will. Since they have got resemblance with, with the Jews and Christians, in this respect, that <coughs> and the pagans of Banka used to postpone the month of uh, the sacred months. For instance, uh, they were in need of fighting against any enemy, or they were going to take the retaliatory action against their enemies, and there were some months of uh, some month of haram, uh, which, which was made unlawful for the, for the fighting, they used to postpone it, adjourn it, just to facilitate their their activities. And since they were believing in the four months as sacred months, respectable months, wherein the fighting was totally unlawful, therefore they used to add any uh, other month in the month of year just to make them up they used to uh, used to make it unlawful as respect and to make the uh, to make up the number of months of hurma sacred months so there this type of alternation and changing uh, would never enable the enable the people to perform the pilgrimage at exact time, near about more than 30 years, they were unable to perform the pilgrimage at the proper time, until the time came when the Bikri Milasalasam participated in the month of, uh, in the pilgrimage, and then it was exact the date which was necessary to be observed for the performance of the pilgrimage. And as the alteration or changing or concoction or distortion of the text of gospel or uh, the Pentateuch or the Old Testament was just making one Allah because it was the power of Allah 
to alter the celestial book, to change or to abrogate the celestial book is an exclusive right of Allah. Because the, this is interruption in the system of Allah. Interruption in the system of Allah is a type of claim for the divinity. If they had not been interrupting in the right of Allah, they would have never dared to, to alter or to change or to interpolate or to concoct or forge any part of the celestial book. Since they were interrupting and uh, they were uh, they were interpreting in the light of Allah and they were exceeding the limits. Therefore, Allah Rabbul Izzad took them to task and Allah Rabbul Izzad, Almighty Allah scrutinized them and their punishment was also announced. Quran says, as the concoction of the celestial book is interruption in the light of Allah, as the twisting or interpolating in the text of the celestial book is interruption uh, in, in, in the rights of Allah are exceeding the limits in the same way the alteration of system of time the calendar of Allah the calendar made by Allah ordained by Allah was containing only 12 months but according to their own necessities according to their own desires they added a month in the number of the months just to accommodate their uh, their absurdities and their violation of law and their exceed, exceeding of the limits and exercising of the power out of their jurisdiction. So this alteration and changing introduced in the system of Allah is interruption in the right of Allah. Therefore these two things were mentioned one after another. Means no, no, they not only after the, 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 the celestial books, it was uh, 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 after the, ti the time. The time. The time. The time. So, nature-wise, these two types of work can be enlisted in the one catalog. That nature-wise, both of the actions can be can be categorized with the same with the same category. They can be included in the same category because both of the actions are involving the interruption in the rights of Allah which is not exercisable by the human being. Exercise of the rights of Allah is specified for Allah and it is uh, it is not lawful to, to be to be enjoyed or to be possessed by the human being. Since the violation of law and the nature of this violation has got a coordination with each other, therefore both of the actions and both of the attitudes were mentioned in the same, same context. Quran says, it was a methodology of Allah, it is a procedure of Allah, which was fixed by Allah Rabbulis Himself from the very beginning of the creation of the universe up to now. And this type of, this type of interruption was totally unprecedented in the previous in the previous society since they, uh, they they were exceeding the limits therefore they would be put in the same category as the scholars of the Jews and, and Christians and they would be dealt with the same pattern with the same with the same category with the same attitude and there are four months which are very sacred out of them so this decision cannot be made by other than Allah because sacredness or holiness is a bounty of God which can be granted by Allah Himself and no one else is competent, authorized to give the sacredness to any time. So this is a straight, straight religion which cannot be twisted or which cannot be which cannot be violated. Being a creature, one will have to go straight under the lines prefixed by, by, by this religion. And you should not wrong yourself in these months. Means, if you violate the limits, if you violate the law, if you break the discipline, and if you intervene in, 
interrupt, you interrupt in the system of Allah, so it would be a cruelty by yourself on yourself because you would be penalized for your action and omission. And when a person cannot cause any harm to somebody else, but he has to, uh, he has to afford and uh, bear and undergo the result of one's own action, so it is equivalent to cruelty on oneself. Quran says, understand? Yeah, fully, fully, fully. Wa qatilul mushrikin kafatan kama yuqatilul kum kafa. Since the sacredness of these four months were mentioned here, and it was more likely for the infidels, for the pagans, to attack on the Muslims in these very days, because it was lawful for them to postpone and to adjourn the time of uh, sacred months. And since the Muslims were believing in the rigidity of the law, which was, which, which was not uh, flexible or relaxable for them, therefore being Muslim, one's duty would have been, uh, would have been abiding by the time of these months. Therefore, it was a danger going to be created for the Muslims by the Muslims. Therefore, Allah says, this, this Qatrul Mushrikin Kafa, fight against the pagans. This uh, order is for permissibility. Means, okay. it doesn't mean fight against, uh, against the, uh, the pagans, but you can, you can fight. Because after a prohibition, when the permission is allowed, so this type of order is just for, for permissibility, not for the obligation. Just like I, I, forbid, I forbid you coming inside and after a short while I, I say come in. So this coming in is not for obligation, for the necessity. This is just permissibility, is a permission. You can come and if you don't come, you are not violator of the law. Because any order after the prohibition is called permission. The sacredness of the months was a preventive, for, was a prohibition for the fighting against anyone. Because these four months was very sacred, inviolable. Their respect was not uh, to, be, to be violated. Therefore, the Muslims, by their own statement, was abiding to observe their their sacredness, therefore it was open to the non-Muslims to postpone and to adjourn the time of sacred months and to wage a war against the Muslims. Therefore Muslims ad were advised to uh, to wage a war against the uh, against the pagans as they can wage a war against you. In case of attack. In case of attack. Ah, yeah, yeah. Means Otherwise, in normal cases, in no normal affairs, in normal situations, you are abiding by the sacredness of, by the observation of their, uh, their reverence, reverence, sacredness, and their, their prestige and their respect. Their respect should be protected and preserved by you. Being a Muslim, it is a duty to, uh, to preserve uh, their sacredness and their respect. But if they wage a war against you, you are also allowed to wage a war against them. You are allowed to, to, to uh, make a counter-attack. And note it well that Allah is always with the pious people. Means, uh, means if you are trying to create or to fabricate an excuse to attack against other so this is against the piety. You must believe that Allah is always with the pious people. Means you must wait for for the attack on them uh, for the months which are permissible to uh, to be fought in. Because this type of precaution is also a part of piety. Quran says the postponement, 
the delay in the time of month of respect, delay of the sacred month is also an additional precedent instance of infidelity. This is not a sacredness, this is not a piety, but this is an other instance of the infidelity because this is interruption in the system systematized by Allah. Being human being, one's duty is to bow down before the system of Allah. When a person tries to exceed the limits and interrupt into the authority of Allah, so this is a kind of infidelity which was established by the pagans of Mecca. Quran says this postponement of the sacred months is an additional instance of infidelity wherewith the infidels are misled. This is a misleading for them and they are being deviated by this addition because this addition is not their power. This is out of their jurisdiction. This should not be exercised by them. So, if they are exceeding the limit, it means that they are accepting the infidelity and they are, they have gone the infidel. They make it unlawful in one year. Make it lawful in one year and make it unlawful in the next year. Means if they announce a month to be sacred one in, in this year and they uh, they lift up the restriction of sacredness and they made it they make it permissible so this type of legislation to make lawful uh, to make uh, lawful uh, to be unlawful or to make unlawful to be lawful so this type of legislation was referred to in the previous lines that this is a kind of infidelity which should be avoided by the person who is believing in Allah. Because uh, the tahrim and tahleel, validation or invalidation, and legalization or illegalization, to legalize and unlegalized or to illegalize a, legal, uh, a legalized thing is exclusive right of Allah which should be exercised only by Himself. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And no one is, uh, no uh, one is com competent to participate in the special power and the residuary powers of Allah. Residuary powers of Allah. This is how can, how can he, how can he attack you in English? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes prerogative rights are enjoyed by the Holy Prophet. Prerogative rights can be defined in the in the legal language, which are special right for the sovereign of the country. They are called prerogative rights. Certain prerogative rights are delegated by Allah to His Prophet, which can exclusively be exercised by the Holy Prophet. Just like ma means whatever is given to you by the Holy Prophet, you are obliged to take it, and whatever is prohibited by the Holy Prophet, you are duty bound to avoid it. Otherwise you cannot be included in the Muslim society. So these are prerogative rights which cannot be exercised by any other Caliph. For instance, Siddiqa, Kvarfaru, Kraj, Musmane, Ghani, Hadri, Kara and other Caliphs up to the Judgment Day are, are not competent, are not eligible to exercise those powers because those powers are a prerogative right of the Holy Prophet. As being sovereign of the country, he can uh, he can exercise them all alone. Quran criticizes and condemns uh, their attitude and their behavior that they just make, uh, make, make a lawful or a permissible month to be unlawful, just to make up for the deficiency of the number of the months. So this type of exercise of power is not, uh, is not suitable 
is uh, not apt to them. Therefore, it should be avoided if they believe in Allah and His Apostle. And they should show the penitence for the previous uh, behavior. Allah Karim says, Zuyyan lahum su amalihim. The evilness of their deeds and works was adorned, was beautified. This is a philosophy of Islamic ideology. When a person goes away from the limits and commits sins more and more, his heart is blackened and his contemptible practice and deeds and, and works does not look to be ugly to him. But he is mostly proud of such a thing. Just one says, uh, I am a person who has been who has been killing the persons and I have killed hundred hundred persons in my life. I have robbed very big persons. I I, I robbed uh, the millionaires. I, I robbed the judges, the policemen, the chief constable, etc., etc. So these are highly uh, uh, these are highly contemptible and culpable actions, and he is proud of having done such a things and having done such a things should not be proud of such a things. So this is beautification of the evilness of the practice. Quran says one should not be proud. This is a decisive sign of his fatality, his disaster. He is just about to, to be eradicated when he is when he is showing the pride about Highness and contemptible and uh, hateful things. Wullahu la yadil qawm al kafirin and Allah does not and Allah does not uh, guide the people rejecting the faith. Means sometimes Allah enables the sinful person to see the destination, to check or to find out the proper way. But when Allah uh, when Allah gets annoyed too much, then Allah does not show the right way uh, to such a person. This is the end of my lecture today on this very topic. Inshallah, the rest part of the lecture would be delivered to you, Inshallah, in the next meeting. Yeah, this, is, uh, the, this, this, is, uh, this is Surah Tawbah and from verse number uh, 36 uh, up to the verse number 37. 36 and 36, to two verses was recited here and commented on.